Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. His brother Shalom, you. Brother Kamal Mahar. Uh, coming at you with a quick lesson. First and foremost, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakat Badash. I want to say Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. I want to say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, who's pushing a rock to the four corners of the earth, trying to seal the elect to bring Yahweh Shai back sooner so we can get up, uh, up out of this wicked kingdom, man. Uh, me and the brother um, was, uh, you know, uh, going in on, you know, the Most High's recompense and how the nations are going to get you know, what's coming to him, man. So we, uh, we basically was just going into Joel 3. I'm going to read down Joel 3 and then we're going to precept off of uh, Joel 3. All right, so this is Joel 3, uh, uh, Joel 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity, captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Now, I'm bringing this out because it already says that the, uh, the you know, the, through the diaspora, the children of Israel was spread to the four corners of the earth, man. Obviously, we went off, uh, we went off by breaking a covenant with the Most High, and this was a curse put upon us and a punishment put upon us uh, by the Most High. But it also says that he's going to plead with all these nations. He's going to tell all these nations, like, look, give up my jewels, or it's going to be hell to pay. Now, it's already hell to pay because they already done done us dirty, man. Um, you should precept that with, um, um, uh, they made a tumble. Tumble, yeah. yeah. Get that real quick. So, hey, and these nations, you know, all these nations, not just Esau, not just the, the so-called white man. We're talking about these these Arabs, uh, these Indians, these freaking Chinese, these uh, Moabs, Ammonites, all the other nations came together to, and had a hand in our captivity, had a hand in our destruction, man. And because of that, the Most High, man, is going to recompense the entire world. We already see what's going on right now with, uh, you know, the coronavirus, uh, the economic collapse is coming. And you already know it's going to start a great famine. But this is all judgment that's being put upon um, these other nations. Go ahead. You got that? Yeah, it's uh, Psalms 83. Uh, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start at start two. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. One they, second, right there. Mm -hmm. It says, thy, it says thy enemies. Now, mind you, key word enemies. It's letting you know that these other nations are enemies. And a tumult is like a pact, like a contract. They came together to make a pact with each other. You know, go ahead. And it said, and they, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy, against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Con, and they consulted against thy hidden ones, man. And who's the hidden ones? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, you you are God's chosen people, man. Deuteronomy 7 to 6 lets you know that uh, you are a holy people, meaning a separate people, man, unto himself above all other people on the face of the earth, man. And then if you don't want to get down and you don't have that rulership mentality, then guess what? You are two-third. You're going to die a terrible death and a second death anyway. But uh, keep going. And so it's been three. They have, oh, no, it's, uh, and this is uh, four. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Khan, these other nations came together and said, let them let, let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why to this day, most of our people don't know where they come from. You got Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Haitians, uh, the Negroes in America, they don't even know they all related. They don't even like each other, man. They beefing all these poppies and all that. Not knowing that these is your, your brothers and sisters, man. These are your cousins, man. Go ahead. It says, For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. They are confederate against thee. You I mean they are basically their heads are against thee. They are your enemies, man. They literally strategically brought us down low. When if you eat, listen, this first of all process of elimination. Who's the greatest people on the planet? Who influences everything? Who created everything? Who literally has done everything? Everything in your household right now that you use from the from uh, the filaments to the light bulbs to the air conditioner to your freezer, your refrigerator, your internet, the cell phone. The first car, anything you use, it was all created by the so-called black man, you right? It was all created by the children of Israel, man. Yeah. We are we are the most innovative, go ahead. Uh, no, just to land back off the brother, uh, any any brothers actually, uh, you know, see this video on um, what the brother is saying, that the, the Lord has said that um, Judah is the former of all things. God. Just to put some real light with that, I always like to say, brothers, check, go to YouTube and check out the... Uh, the black inventions of America, and then that, that and then that pre right. precept of Judas, the former of all things, will just collide with each other. Right. It's, it's right. pretty phenomenal to see. Come, come, all right. Yep. And this is uh, 
the tabernacle, uh, and so this is the enemies that the, that the, the scripture was talking about. It says that for it says for uh, the tabernacles of Edom, it's primary number one, suspect number one, uh, which are the, which are the so-called white man. Um, we got the Ishmaelites. You can go ahead and get that, brother. The, the Ishmaelites was the so-called Arabs. You know, the Arabs to the, to this day. Keep going. Moab. Moab is the Chinese. Go the, ahead. The, the Hagarines. Hagarines are Africans. Uh, Gabal. That's more Africans. Uh, Ammon. Ammon, Ammonites, that's the Japanese. Uh, Amalek. Amalek, we already know. Those are the fake Jews who call themselves uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Israelis and all them. That was the uh, Esau's uh, grandson. Yep. Yep. Esau's grandson, Amalek. Go ahead. And uh, uh, the Philistines. Philistines is more Africans. That's like, I don't, don't want to say Middle East anyway, because remember the, the way the migration patterns. Look, that's still in Africa. They Hamites or, or Arabs, and they're all in there. Go ahead. And it says... Uh, with the inhabitants of Tyree. Tyree, that's more, um, that, oh, that's perfect. Leave it right there. That's just more, that's basically letting you know that all the nations had a tumble. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep reading. And it says, um, verse 3, Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine and that they might drink. Ye, and what have ye done? It says, ye. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? If ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and, and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. Now, mind you, recompense. Guess what? They're going to have to get that paid back. It says the, the, the uh, Yahweh Yahweh Shah is going to call all the nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat and plead with them for, for us, for the children of Israel. And it says recompense. Now, mind you, we're promised. Now, mind you, if you read it, I'm pretty sure I think it's a revelation, right? It talks about how um, uh, and, and when the kingdom of heaven is established, um, it says they, how they took our uh, silver and gold. All these nations, the, the gates of, it says the gates of heaven will never be closed because all these nations will be bringing them, bringing us all their goodly and pleasant things. Their silver and their gold, everything. So this is the recompense of the Most High. He said, look, what they did to you, guess what? I'm going to make sure they give it all back and some and all their goodly and pleasant things. Matter of fact, bring that out, brother. It's Isaiah 16 and 11. Come. Therefore, thy gate shall be open continually. And they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Con, keep going. And it says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, these nations shall be utterly wasted. Con, so look, the Most High is basically putting, he when, when Yahweh Shah comes back, you know, and he's he's definitely coming back soon. Remember, we already know um, these, these plagues, pestilence, and all that is the beginning of the end. You know, it's not the end, it's the beginning of the end, man. Because all of these things must come to pass before, you know I mean, the end is really here. But listen, it, but go on, keep going. I'm, I'm going to skip this. Well, shoot, I mean. I want to get into the part where it talks about how they're going to be bringing in all that shit. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, there's another one that, on 16. Just, just keep going. It says, uh, yeah, thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the, I, that, that I, the Lord, Yahweh, am the Savior and the Redeemer of the Mighty One of Jacob. The Redeemer, the Savior and the Redeemer of the Mighty One of Jacob. Now, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, so he's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. And mind you, all they took our goodly and pleasant things. They sold us to the four corners of the earth. They sat here and turned our little boys into harlots. You know, that type of, listen, sodomite behavior, these eat all Edomites, man, they're naturally faggots, man. I mean, it's common sense. It literally in the Bible is letting them know. It didn't say... They were sending our, making our women harlots. I'm pretty sure they did that too, but they said they took our little boys, little boys and made them harlots, bro. And sold our, our little daughters as for wine, bro. That, yo, look, the wickedness of the white man is, is crazy as shit, man. Keep going. Um, let me see. After, okay, for, 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 for brass, I will bring gold, and for iron, I will bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. And I will make thy officers peace and thy exactors righteousness. Mm hmm. Con, con. Where's the part where it says that they'll be bringing in their goods? Well, I just read that in, um, I read that actually in um, 11. Yeah, 11. They're yeah. reading again? Uh, the, uh, Isaiah 16 and 11. Therefore, uh, therefore thy gate shall be open continually, and they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Now, mind you, where's the forces of the Gentiles, man? That's their gold. That's their silver. That's their power. You know, it's it's going to get crazy. So, and right, right now, in uh, Joel 3 and 3, it says, ye... 
Ye, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. The Most High is going to sit this street where they bringing us all their silver and gold and all their pleasant things, man. Now I'm going to keep reading. It says, The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their borders. Now we talked about how, you know, they sold us, you know, they sold us to the four corners of the earth, man. We wasn't just sold to South America and um, North America. The, 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 the southern kingdom... Uh, was sold this way, and all of the northern kingdom was sold other ways, man. Now, mind you, if you go into um, the history of um, the Arab slave trade, the Arabs used to sell two of our, our women to every one Arab man as concubines, and used to sell our men as slaves on the Silk Road to the Moabs, to the Moabs to help build their roads and their um, the the um, the Great Wall of China. Don't get it twisted; we built that shit. Almost any every dynasty and almost every great monument on the earth was built by the children of Israel, man. All right, uh -huh. and I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna keep reading. Um, it says, "Behold, I, verse seven. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, and return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to the people far off. For the Yahweh has spoken it. Mind you, now mind you, this is also." Uh, 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 prophecy which is, which is in Revelations because basically look we are going to take the, their kings and their offspring and everything as captives they're going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven Go ahead, you know, I know you already know the precept to that yeah, um, they're going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven we are literally going to reap what Yahweh while Yahweh Shai is going to give us the honor of basically put, recompensing everything back to them and they're going to get it back tenfold man. go ahead it's Isaiah 14 and 2 and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives, captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Con. That's hard Con. Body. That's hard body. Joel 3 goes, and you can literally, Joel 3, you see how we jump into the round in the scriptures. But Joel 3 is, pre, you can precept off of Joel 3. It literally is his prophecy. is is a hand over hand prophecy. And I'm going to keep reading um, I'm going to start back off of verse 7. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them, the four corners of the earth, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to the people far off, for Yahweh has spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. It's the modern mode in the, the great battle in the valley of Jehoshaphat. When Yahweh Shah cracks the sky, comes back with his saints. Make, 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 I already know you know where that's at. Um, this is basically talking about the, when Yahweh Shah comes back and the valley of Jehoshaphat and he brings and his, cracks the sky with saints. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that. get that. And it says, assemble yourselves and come, and, ye, and all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Whoa. So Yahweh Yahweh Shah is coming back. He's going to call all the nations to devour Jehoshaphat to plead with them. And it says the sickle is right. Now, what is a sickle? When you think of the, the grim reaper, a sickle is what they do to uh, there is what they do to either harvest, cut wheat, or to chop somebody's head off. It says the sickle is ripe. For the it says, I'm sorry, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. That means there's going to be bodies. The most high is coming back to destroy all these nations, right? And then it says, um, come get you down for the press is full. The facts overflow for their wickedness is great. <laughs> Yo, get what's that scripture where it says, um, uh, Yahushua is going to come back and it's going, his garment was covered in blood or covered like in wine's fat. Oh, uh, that might be, um, just, uh, Isaiah. Wait, wait, wait. Just Google it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so mind you, there's a scripture talking about how um, when when Yahweh Shah comes back, it says that it's um, it's going to be like he he trotted in a lion's fat, basically meaning he's covered in blood. His white garment is covered in blood for all the slain he's going to do to these heathen, man. The Most High is not playing. Yahweh Yahweh Shah is not playing. And listen, Kwame uh, Yashara, uh, because we got next, and when we get next, it's a wrap. It's over, man. It was going to be peace on earth, man. But get that first, man. No, uh, like, um, no, um, that's not it. Uh, uh, like, try to know wine's fat. It's oh, okay, okay, yeah. Salak, your brother. Actually, no, it's in the wine, wine's press, yeah. Yeah, yeah 63, I knew that. Yeah, you, yeah you actually did. Not. I, yeah, right. I saw like Isaiah. Yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead, bring that out. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's right in the beginning. Yeah. It's Isaiah 63. Uh, let me, uh, you know what? Let me go there. Let me start at one. Who is that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Baz, Rashi Havashah? That is, that is glorious in its apparel, tra traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thy garments like him that tread up in the wine fat? Khan, now mind you, why it says, why, who, who is he that comes from Edom? America's already destroyed. You know what I'm saying? America's going to get utterly destroyed uh, with nuclear fire. Edom's going to be wiped off the face of the earth on this side. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the great battle in the Valley of Jehoshaphat is when he goes and pleads with the other nations. You know? Read that one more time. Yep. And it says, uh, who is that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Isaiah 63. And that is inglorious in his, his apparel, travelling in greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel and thy garments like him that tread up in the wine fat? Woo! Woo! There's more on that. Keep going. I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none of none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Yahweh is a man of war, man. He's sending his son back. To go hard. Mind you, you already, listen, man. If you're not a God-fearing person, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, if you can't see what's going on, like biblical prophecy is literally right in front of your face, man. It's for, I know for a lot of us, Akim, it's a faith booster just to see like, yo, it's going down. And Lord willing, this shit is all over within the next three to five. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm 30 years old. I'm not trying to see 35. I'm not trying to see, I, I listen, 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 I, I don't want to see 35. I want to get to 33. You like your house shot? I could do 33, and then it's just all over, man. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, man. Lord willing, he speed this shit up, man. Because every time I turn on TV and I see the more pestilence going out, it's your pot. Because we already know these prophecies that's coming. Cool. That coronavirus is most likely going to crash the economy. Yeah, most likely. Most, most likely. likely. Most likely. Um, let me. Uh, let me. Uh, it said, "Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe." Come. This is. I'm sorry. Joel three and thirteen. Put ye in the sickle for ya, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of Yahweh is near and in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. But Yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Ha! Ah, so shall ye know that I am Yahweh, your power, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy again, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. So guess what? All you Ashkenazi Jews, all you Israelis, and all you, my, and mind you, the Jerusalem, our land was a lot bigger than just Jerusalem. We owned everything around it, too. Because remember, we were in, if you will, I think it was the Book of Numbers, right? Uh, when we started we're going to war with all the different nations. Yeah, we was kind of, we was, we was, we, we was, going, we was going hard. Going hard in the Book of Numbers. And I was like 24 when the boy, uh, uh, Balaam got, got, yo, listen, listen, yeah, well, Balaam tried to, you know, uh, the quote, the quote, curse thing. Um, mm -hmm. But listen, 
I will um, implore you, Akim, to definitely read the book of Numbers, man. It'll give you like a, a warrior mindset. The Median Knights. Yeah, yeah, it'll give you like, yo, Yahweh was going hard. And you will understand why it says he's a man of war. So it ain't going to be no Jerusalem. We got this little slit on the earth. We're going to own the whole earth, but our land is going to be back to where it was. Because remember, we were going fighting against the Canaanites, cleaning everything the fuck oh, out. Yeah, it's going to be uh, yeah. it's going to be 1,500 miles uh, 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 high and 15 miles about the wall, right? right? Wall. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a huge It's going to be crazy. Uh, huge land of Israel. We're going we gonna to literally, we going to literally dominate over a land that was like, Whatever, whatever land is around that that was so called maybe Nigeria or Uganda or whatever right, is you, located. You, no, you 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 on West Africa. It's West, but whatever is inside of fifteen hundred miles here is no longer yours; it's ours. And until fifteen hundred miles yeah, up like, and around kinda, that, kinda, like, you kinda, know what I'm saying? We gonna get we gonna get the land back. It's ambitious, man. Um, uh, verse eighteen. And it shall come to pass in the day that the mountain shall drop down new wine, and the hill shall flow with milk. And all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth out of the house of, of Yahweh, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a des desolate wilderness. For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land, but Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem for generation to generation. Ooh, I love that promise. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for Yahweh dwelleth in Zion. Now get that scripture. It says uh, the blood can't be cleansed. The the the, the blood the, the blood can't be cleansed because it defiles. You can only cleanse with the blood. You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Salaki Akim. I'm chopping that up a little bit. Uh, Numbers 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood it defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Kind. So it literally tells you Egypt and Edom. And all these other nations got to go because they shed the innocent blood of the children of Israel, man. God's jewels, God's chosen, chosen people. And because of that, man, the recompense, this righteous indignation is about to go heavy. That's why right now, if you look at it, man, the coronavirus started over there with them fucking heathen. He didn't do it. He didn't ground zero with the children of Israel. Most of the children of Israel are. He did it over there. Now, mind you, we already knew two thirds got to go as well, you know, but so be it, man. We only out here for the elect. You know, and, uh, and uh, Lord willing, this video was edifying. And any Akim that haven't waken up, any of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans haven't waken up, man. You come from a rich heritage. Uh, uh, you come from a, what I like to call a legendary bloodline, man. And if you don't want to get down with the God of Israel, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, then you will be put to death. Uh, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rekat Wadash. Uh, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone uh, who uh, taught us this truth. I want to say... Um, uh, check out our new channel called uh, Servants of the Throne. Shalom. Shalom.